This episode brought to you by Noble Gold. Check out this free coin offer for my viewers. If you've been thinking about investing safer so you can retire comfortably and sleep at night, it might be time to talk to Noble Gold about the tax advantages and other pluses of those precious metal IRAs. Of course, you might just love uncertainty, but if you don't, this month, Noble Gold are giving away a free America the Beautiful solid silver five ounce coin with any qualifying IRA you start. Call us at 877-646-5347 or visit our website at noblegoldinvestments.com. That's noblegoldinvestments.com. Or you can just find the link in the description or pinned comment. Make sure to tell them Drone Tech sent you. As the president said that this administration is monitoring the situation in Waukesha closely, it has been revealed by prosecutors that the assailant, the assailant swerved his truck side to side as part of an intentional act to run over as many people as possible. Six people are dead. Some children remain hospitalized. Why hasn't the president visited the members of this Christmas parade attack? Well, I would say first, um, as you saw the president convey last week, our hearts go out to this community, to the people in Waukesha, that we've been in touch, obviously, with officials there, and we're all watching as people are recovering, and this is such a difficult time of year for, for this to happen. It's a difficult any time. Uh, obviously, any president going to visit a community requires a lot of assets, requires taking their resources, and uh, it's not something that I have a, a trip previewed at this plan, point in time, but we remain in touch with local officials officials and certainly our, our hearts are with the community well that was completely disgusting she acts like a tornado went through this city and killed those people she said nothing about standing up against hate or the dangers of whipping people up along racial lines there was no statement at all about the fact that these people were targeted for the color of their skin by a racist black man who had a long social media history of anti-white racist posts we're seeing none of the reaction whatsoever if this had been a white guy who targeted and attacked a group of black people the date would be seared into everybody's head and every night the media would lead with blaming their political opponents. Instead, we're watching Democrats do their best to quietly move on from this story, never to be spoken of again. Hell, it's not even just Democrats, with Republican Ron Johnson joining Democrats and calling for individuals to, quote, cease and desist using the quote, and this is the writer's description, SUV ambush for their own political purposes. <laughs> SUV ambush? Like the SUV became sentient and purposely attacked these people? Just look at this CNN post. Waukesha will hold a moment of silence today, marking one week since a car drove through a city Christmas parade. A car didn't just drive through. A racist BLM activist who was incited by the Democrats and media rhetoric decided to specifically target these people and run his car through them. This gaslighting is off the charts and radicalizing in its own right. How can anybody look at the world around them the same way when this blatant lying is being done right in front of their faces and left-wingers are acting like it's all just completely normal. Andrew Sullivan asks, can you imagine what they would have written if the driver had been white and not a black racist? And this person responds in a way that I've seen pretty widespread. I can't imagine it, Andrew. No. Why don't you start a new column that confects such alternate realities? You can obsess over what people like Tapper and Maddo might have said and get worked over events that never happened. But we're not even talking about alternate realities. We're talking about recent history. The same media called Kyle Rittenhouse a white supremacist murderer with no evidence. While it turned out that not only was there zero evidence that he's a white supremacist, but he was actually the victim in all of this. Meanwhile, this guy can purposely target white people for a car attack while having a social media feed filled with anti-white racism and BLM activism but somehow that never finds its way into the mainstream reporting. The truth is that Democrat rhetoric incited this attack and that's why they want to move on. Just like the mob attacks and the run up to the 2016 election that continued for four years, just like the attacks on ICE facilities incited by Democrat and media rhetoric, just like the GOP baseball game attack directly linked to Democrat and media rhetoric. I was there at the ball field when Stephen Scalise almost died uh, from a very, very angry, violent man who was incited really by rhetoric on the left. When he came onto the field with a semi-automatic weapon firing probably close to 200 shots at us he was yelling this is for health care it's all memory hold never to be spoken of again because it conflicts with their narrative that the greatest danger this country faces is white male conservatives my guess is that the average person doesn't even know what happened in waukesha and if they do they think it was some kind of an accident because that's exactly what this regime and their media want people to think all right folks that's all for this one you all know what i want hit that like button and let me know what you think in the comments. Comments.